Is minimalist art lazy? Like you might go to a museum and see these three squares hanging up and wonder, why is this here? Well, the artist Joseph Albers knew that he was interested in the interactions of color. After Isaac Newton, artists were kind of treating colors like these dead objective facts. This shade of red is just light that has a wavelength of 700 nanometers. But Albers was the first to really demonstrate that the same factual color can have a totally different character depending on what colors you put it next to. You might get the illusion of heat or a vanishing effect or how does surrounding it by beige make you feel? Albers did a thousand of these under the title Homage to Square. Even though he was skilled in representational painting, a lot of that extra stuff could be a distraction if you're trying to get people to specifically think about color perception. And this is my real aim, not the paintings. There are times when a lack of effort is disappointing, like if your Valentine gets you a store-bought card that just has their name on it, but these squares managed to change the way the world sees color theory by saying less.